Hello people, this is New Sensei, and what is this? Am I covering Assassin's Creed Syndicate? Obviously, yes I am. Uh, this may seem unusual because I don't normally cover uh, mainstream games, but there has been a bit of a request. And uh, given how I do cover you know, the clothing from the game, uh, I think it might be a little fun to uh, go back and uh, play the Assassin's Creed game. So, uh, obviously with Syndicate being the most recent game, my intention is to play through this game and cover it. Uh, I'm probably not going to cover all the uh, optionals and the collectibles and stuff, but the main mission definitely, probably the side missions, and we'll play through and experience this game. This game was released about two, two three days ago on PC. It's been out on a like, console for quite a while, uh, but PC just came out, so I'm interested to see how it plan runs on the PC. And uh, in future, I'll probably go back and play all the uh, Assassin's Creed uh, games which I have on PC. So, it'd be a nice uh, bit of a uh, retrospective. Anyway, without further ado, let's play Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, I have played uh, some of this already. Uh, I've played the first couple sequences to see what it's like. Uh, I did try to record this previously, but uh, Fraps didn't work for me, so I'm switching over to uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay, which seems to record much better. Um, not as high detail, but it doesn't like slow my frame rate down to a slideshow. So hopefully things will work out all right. I really, I really did enjoy Unity, so I'm hoping Syndicate uh, is much better. I've heard nice things about it. Historical research began several new projects in London. I remember you. know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop. Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Exposition devil, machine. Fire up your cameras, Beck. Pretty lazy storytelling, but yeah. No. I've got picture. Coming from Unity, not too surprised. Ooh, London. PTA on the payload. Sending it now. Ah, it's these guys. A lot to sift through. Ah, uh, Sean Hastings, smartass. <laughs> you look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. But I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. <sighs> well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the peace of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry, twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Well, thank you. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His oh, name is Crawford Staric, and he intends to rule the world. With that mustache. There is no aspect of society he does not control, no industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison. No person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. Yeah, so, Queen Victoria. As you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond. To kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered. Though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you, time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. I like the look at this, uh, 
Turk. Hmm, interesting exposition. A little convoluted, but uh, that's the way it works out with Assassin's Creed. And now we begin. First Iron Works, Croydon, 1868. Oh, the back has always read. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All oh, right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. Uh, the brain and the brute. Typical characterization. But I'm very pleased to see a female protagonist for once. And I think a lot of people are. Nice robes, by the way. I like you. Since it's a very nice character. Wee! <laughs> uh, yeah, from the uh, the 20 minutes or so I've played this game, it's been very fun. That's why I chose to cover it. I don't normally cover the the big games, but uh, I do want uh, to, you know, enjoy the experience of Assassin's Creed and perhaps a little crack at um, playing other games. And uh, apparently, it's just been very uh, positively um, uh, responded to. How long does he intend to go on like this? He's disrupting the other workers. Sack his press and get the machine fixed. Send me some laudanum for my head. Coming right up. Oh, oh a little sass coming from you, Jacob. All right, looking good. Very industrial. A bunch of good steampunk-esque items in this game. All right, uh, frame rate seems okay. You know, when I was recording on Fraps, uh, didn't work out too well. Fraps being a very um, resource-heavy uh, recording software. Uh, it seems like Shadow Place is working alright. Okay, so it seems alright. Um, let's walk around. I'm good. Stealth on. Stealth off. Okay, that's good. Alright. Uh, I think we can definitely join play this game. Oh yeah, that's pretty smooth. Definitely much better than using Fraps. I did use Fraps for a long time, many years, but uh, yeah, it seems it hasn't kept up with the um, uh, my hardware, so hopefully this works. Okay. I use the same uh, system as Unity. Uh, allows you to do free run up, free run down. And the, the same cues are here as well. The white um, cloths and pallets. Ah, oh, look at that. Very smooth. I love the free running. They've definitely improved this tremendously. I thought Unity did an okay job of uh, allowing you to free run down. But this has really taken free run to 